Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the best lease in EUS tournament here on Digod Live. I'm Technolink, I'm your caster for today. And we are looking at the semi final match between Cherius and Kazakh. It is a best of three. It's currently zero and zero. So this is game number one of a best of three. <laughs> Just to make it clear for the guys who are in the chat asking, what is this? What is this? What is this madness? Well, it is a best of three for the title of best lease in EUS. And actually, what is going to happen, the winner of this match, they will advance not only to the finals of today, but also the final brackets of To Be Determined. Where they will be facing off against the winners of the other brackets, and then we will have the massive one-way uh, one only Brightness is no impediment <laughs> Lee Sin, who is enemy. the best in the U.S. Is no also, I'm pretty much laughing here at Cossacks, who is just... Is no well, not laughing at Cossacks, but at Lee Sin's... Uh, blindness is no impairment for a smelly enemy. And Jarius is just sitting here and waiting for his ward potion. Same goes for Cossacks, so the early stage of the game, again, pretty boring. Looking at Cossacks, 0.65. 1% critical chance here, attack damage 78, uh, 77, and 4% cooldown reduction. Cherius pretty much has the same. If this one doesn't uh, remove itself from the game, right? And well, we'll just we'll just see what happens right here. We have seen this pretty much every single match, pretty much the same setup for both Lee since. Some run critical chance, some run a little bit more magic resist, some run a lot of armor, some run some arm penetration. It just boils down to that. And it, it's, it's, in the end, the first one who gets the initial advantage in the lane seems to be the winner of every match. We haven't seen a match where that was not the case, so I think I can make that assumption right now. Right, so Cherius and Kazak, they're just landing some Tempest Cripples all over the place. Cherry is really afraid here of uh, Kazak that he does not want to get hit by Tempest Cripple. Does hit Kazak though. So he's now a little bit up in the trade section. Cherry is now hitting level 2 together with Kazak. Kazak... Ooh, that's an interesting one. Kazak actually opting to go for the experience rooms here, I would assume. And Kazak now the Ignite is going down onto Kazak. Kazak taking a lot of damage and will survive. Barely. We'll barely survive here. Pops his elixir 42, and again, the sonic wave missing. He has his barrier, he has his ignite, so it's not going to be lethal. But Cherry is definitely dominating the lane once again. He's doing a really good job here at keeping Kazak stuck under his tower, and we'll probably be going back to pick up something akin to a Dorn's Blade, because he has 430 hit. Uh, 430 gold at this point and a beautiful sonic wave wrestling strike right into the face of Kazak and then he's like well I was in your face and now I'm not safeguards out of there so we are going maybe we'll see the rising of the new insect in this tournament but uh, I wouldn't hold my breath for that all right Cherry is now going back to base has 520 uh, gold in the bank should be able to pick up the Dorn's Blade and a few more potions. Well, at least from the looks of it, that's, yeah, he's going to go for four potions. And of course the Dorn's Blade as well. So, moving back to the top lane. And Kazak is still stuck there. He's just waiting, just saying, okay, you can have that initial advantage, but I'm just going to farm up a little bit more. Freezing the lane right in place. But it might backfire on him in the way that Cherius is going to get a lot of experience here. Yeah, now he's going to go back. Also, pretty much the same amount of gold, so we'll be picking up the Dorn's Blade and a few potions as well. Again, Jarius now reaching his lane again. He's going to be denying Kazak a little bit of the creep, because, uh, well, you can see one Malay Mean has already died bravely in the combat against its uh, other kin. And uh, Cherry is now moving into that top lane. It's going to be running right into the wave of minions. Might just block them off a little bit. But the tower isn't going to be able to shower those minions with its laser guard defection. So Kazak only loses one melee minion there. He should be able to get a lot of farming under this tower. He has been able to do so before. 
I wouldn't be surprised if he did it again. Again, Sonic Wave, pretty brave there from Cherius because he takes a tower hit on his return. Does have the safeguard, so it's not as powerful as uh, you would have expected it to be. But still, you don't want to get three tower shots to the face. Uh, those tower shots, they really hurt. They're like great balls of fire. That will smack you down, even though you were quite ahead right there. Jerry is again with the Tempest Cripple, dealing a fair amount of damage to Kazakh. And again, we have a difference here in builds. We see Cherry is going for the Tempest Cripple build, whereas Kazakh is splitting it out between the Safeguard and the Tempest Cripple build here. Sonic Wave lands onto Charlos, uh, Charius, but Kazakh decides, well, I don't want to be going in here. And here's the Sonic Wave though from Charius. As Kazakh jumps onto a minion, Safeguard goes out. Cherry is taking a lot of damage here. And the Ignite is available for Kazakh. Does he want to go in here? That's pretty much the question. Does he have the experience to go in right now? We see pretty much almost level 6 for both Lee Sins, so both Cherius and Kazakh. As the Kazakh hits the level 6 mark the first. And uh, that might be... that might just spell doom for Cherius if he doesn't hit level 6 in the next few seconds. Kazakh might decide, well, this feels like a little bit of weakness and we'll capitalize on that. And if we're looking at Charius, he's now another tower, has Tempest Cripple, so should be able to clear out this wave pretty fast. And with the help of the tower, that's going to uh, shower the minions with some laser guard defection. Charius manages to kill off all the minions and is now going back to base. How much gold does he have right now? 825. And that's not going to give him a Dorn's Blade and a, a double Dorn's Blade. It's probably going to give him a cloth armor as well as a Dorn's Blade at most. Again, Charius here under the tower gets hit by the Sonic Wave. Kazakh thinking about going in but uh, deciding against it because you don't want to be diving a Lee Sin and he knows that. Interesting to see here is that Cherry is finally catching up to Kazakh in terms of level, but Kazakh immediately hits a minion, kills it, and gets level 7. And now the Sonic Wave lands onto Charius. Lots of damage going down. Immediately Dragon's Rage onto Kazakh. Kazakh dealing a lot of damage. Ignite goes down. The barrier is ticking. Is Cherius going to fall here? Nope, not going to happen. He has a safeguard. However, it's going to allow Kazakh to deal a lot of damage here to the tower. He's pushing it out. The tower now down to 60 armor. So, is Lee Sin going to be able to get back in time? Or, correction, is Cherius going to be able to get back in time? As Kazakh is pushing down on this tower pretty hard. Has a pretty big wave as well, so... Mm, decides to go back, decides not to pick it up. Decides to probably pick up Double Dorans as well, so that's going to be equilibrium once again between these two very talented uh, summoners. Cherry is now finally ending back in his lane. Let's take a quick look at the experience count. Kazakh almost level 8. Cherry is not even close. And the tower did a, quite a number on uh, the experience gain from Cherry. And with both of the Lee Sins hitting the three Dorans mark. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what he's going to be picking up soon. Is it going to be a Vampire Acceptor or is he going to remain with the Dorans Blade and go to try and stack those as best as he can? So that's basically the question right now. Are we going to see six Dorans on both of these sins, or are we going to see a, a divergence here in builds? With one of them going for the more defensive build with the chain vest and the like, whereas the other decides to go for a more aggressive build with things like a blood thirster. And Cherry is again trying to smash Kazakh's face, but uh, it doesn't look like he is able to get into range. No Lee Sin Airlines this time. But Kazakh, he's not letting down here. Tempest Cripple as he safeguards onto Cherius. Cherius making use of the minions to defend him from the Sonic Wave, but the Sonic Wave actually misses and that forces the Dragon's Rage to come out onto Kazakh. And Kazakh, again, with the dominance in lane, has his barrier still available, so Cherius really needs to be watching out here because Kazakh, he smells blood. He smells weakness. Sonic Wave landing onto Kazakh. Kazakh still sitting there. It's like, come at me, bro. You, ca you can't touch this. 
continuing his assault on the tower. Sonic Wave is available. Resident Strike going out, dealing a little bit of damage here to Chariots, but immediately safeguarding away. As Kazakh is still poking away at Chariots' hit, hit points. But it doesn't matter, Kazakh is still ahead, he still has a major experience lead. Because again, Chariots is only level 8, Kazakh already level 9 and is looking to extend that lead even further. As he has his level 3 safeguard and the Tempest Cripple, Sonic Wave going out. Cherry is taking a lot of damage here. The Sonic Wave landing onto Kazak. Kazak is like, okay, yes, we get it, you can also Sonic Wave me. But it's not even close to being enough damage right there. And for the guys who are wondering, are we going to see a 100 CS uh, goal here? Nope, that's not how you win in the EOS Lee Sin tournament, you either have to have a 30 CS lead, or you need to make first blood, or you may need to take down a tower, or your opponent has to cheat by going into a different lane. All of that will be basically saying, okay, you can't win this match. Uh, oh, correction, man, I I'm getting tired here. It's been a long day, pretty much uh, constant casting right there. As Cherries and Kazakh are still going at it in the top lane, 12 minutes in, and still no first blood, no tower, no CS advantage here. Pretty much equal on all sides here. Only difference here being uh, the 100 gold lead currently for Kazakh. Kazakh and Cherry is still, well, going. Head to head here, Kazakh now hitting the level 10 mark, so he's getting dangerously close to hitting level 11, which is going to increase his Dragon's Rage and might just break the back here of Chariots. Again, a Sonic Wave landing onto Kazakh, but it deals no damage whatsoever. As Kazakh is like, okay, yeah, there's nothing you can do against me right now. Chariots, you just have to sit back and enjoy the ride. And the CS war is starting to go in favor of Kazakh who looks to be extending his lead quite a bit. The tower is now taking a lot of damage as well. It's down to about half hit points. And Kazakh is still waiting here for the moment where he can pick something up. Again, taking a look at the gold count, both have enough to pick up a Brutalizer on a return. But the first one to go back right now, if that is going to be Charius, well, he's going to lose his tower no matter what. If it's Kazakh, he might have a chance of getting back in time if he picks up some boots. So, it's uh, kind of interesting to see what these players have for strategy here. Sonic Wave, again, as Kazakh gets uh, it out onto Charius. Charius still in a good position now. He's now at, at the point where he can start fighting Kazakh on an even playing field. Sonic Wave going out, immediately safeguarding to a mean. There's a little bit of damage, you can just see them mirroring. It's like watching a player play against himself. That's how close this match is between Kazakh and Chariots. And I have to say, for a semi-final match, this is pretty much an awesome thing to see. And oh, Kazakh with a beautiful play there, using safeguard to allow the turret to not deal enough damage to one of the minions and denying a creep here on Chariots' side. And again, Kazakh's putting a lot of pressure here onto Chariots. The tower is about to fall, though. It only has about, well, I would say 500 hit points left. So if Kazakh can get into range, get a good push out, he might just get onto, uh, get this turret down in a matter of seconds. The turret, let's check it out, 528 hit points currently. And Kazakh, again, leveling his safeguard and his Tempest Cripple as a unity, going for two in both. If we're looking at Chariots, he has opted to go for full in Tempest Cripple and more in Sonic Wave, so less defense, and that might just be what Kazakh is, is looking to accomplish here. He knows, okay, I have the advantage, and the only way I am going to lose is if he can kill me, and that might just be why he's picking up so much safeguard right there. And Chariots is going to go back, or at least was thinking about going back, but he can't go back because the moment he goes back, 
he is going to be losing that tower and losing the game. So he's pretty much in the same spot that we saw last game with um, Sakyan, I believe. Or was it, uh, it was with Demon Joker. Where one of the players was unable to go back to base. And actually had to go in at very low hit points. And as a result got taken out and lost the match. And the Sonic Wave landing on the Chariots. And still, this match is taking forever, as there is no clear victor right here. And there's definitely not a victor here, because we are looking at the Lee Sin EU tournament for the title of Best Lee Sin EU. So the Wave to Kazakh, and again, safeguards away to safety. is like, okay, I put my foot in your face, and I'm going to get out of here because I don't want to get hit by your foot in my face. And Kazakh is continuing his uh, assault and currently starting to get that little lead here. He up to 20 CS. I'm just going to try and stop the CS from happening. If he can do so, he might just win the CS war. 30 CS, that's all he needs, 30. He's currently up to 15, 18. Probably going to get up to 21 here. With the wave getting pushed all the way back to Cherius's tower, and Cherius is losing hit points by the second. Kazakh's still waiting here. As the cannon creep is taking a lot of um, beating from this tower, who at the same time is also losing a lot of hit points right there. So, still 20 CS lead. This game looks not to be decided on first blood, it looks like it's going to be decided on the CS battle right there. As Kazakh is pushing out the wave even further. And I'm not entirely sure what Kazakh is thinking right now. What will he do? Will he be going back to base or will he just go in? Oh, he's actually going in! Dragon's Rage going out! And Cherry is so low! So low! Suddenly Kazakh's ignite goes out, the barrier now as well. The safeguard is going to save Cherry. But Cherius has to go back, this is going to be the end! It is going to be Kazakh, he is going to be pushing out his wave as best as he can. That sudden... That sudden engage onto Cherius. Dragon's Rage again onto Kazakh. Oh no, Cherius is still there, he's still alive! Still doing his best. Immediately going in, there's the first blood! As Kazakh picks up the kill, wow, that was a nail biter right there. And we're heading into the next game right after this.